Welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at ClimateViewer.com, ClimateViewer.org, and WeatherModificationHistory.com. It's September 18th, 2018, and we have trouble at the Brunswick Nuclear Power Plant in North Carolina. Um, I previously mentioned this in my video during Hurricane Florence. Our next rad radar is steering Hurricane Florence. And, uh, you know, I linked to an article about uh, the Brunswick nuclear power plant is shutting down. And this is dated September 13th. Um, but apparently they've run into troubles. So for those who don't know where the Brunswick nuclear power plant is, you can come to Climate Viewer 3D. Links are already in the details. Um, I shared a link to that. And it's right here off the coast of North Carolina, right where the hurricane hit. Um, you can actually see that by going to the satellite view, um, coming over here, bringing that up. And you can see where the hurricane basically nailed it head on. Um, we'll go back to, let's say the 14th, and right there is the hurricane directly over it. Um, and obviously, you know, we've had a lot of flooding ever since. So what I've got up here on the map, these dots are all of the different flood levels for the rivers. And um, what you can see is red is flooding, purple is seriously flooding, and the Brunswick nuclear power plant is located here. So we'll zoom down to that and give you guys a good look at it. And what you'll see is that um, my nuclear power plants are all color coded. Red being a boiling water reactor. This is a similar design to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear reactor. Um, generally speaking, they're water, all these are water cooled. So you have a water access way that's right here, which obviously ends up right out in the ocean. So all of the flood waters that were coming in off the, the ocean run up this line and into here. This is what happened with Fukushima. So currently there was a NRC event um, declared, unusual event due to site conditions preventing plant access. And it says a hazardous event has resulted in on-site conditions sufficient to prohibit plant staff from accessing the site via personal vehicles due to flooding of local roads by Tropical Storm Florence. Notified Department of Homeland Security, SWO, FEMA Ops, Department of Homeland Security, NICC, FEMA, NWCC, Nuclear, SSA, FEMA, NRCC via email. Um, and this is dated September 17th, 2018. That's yesterday. So um, the event date right here, it says 9-15. So this is already a couple days old. And, you know, the flooding, which has just started, is only going to get worse. So what's going to happen is... Um, if you look at the flooding levels now um, on the Cape Fear River, uh, you can see that it, flood stage is at 41, uh, 42 feet. Moderate flood stage is at 50 feet. And let me blow this up so you guys can see it. And uh, major flood stage is at 65 feet, and it is currently at 69 feet. So all of this water is going to make its way back to the ocean as it always does. And it's only going to get worse. Now, for those who um, remember the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear meltdown, what caused it was, you know, all of the water flowing into the inlets. They destroyed the inlets and the plant was unable to cool. And the fact that the Brunswick nuclear power plant is in a hot shutdown um, you know, means that they're kind of running in emergency mode, trying to cool the, the nuclear rods as fast as possible. Um, with staff not being able to access the plant, that could turn bad very quickly. Um, it, we really don't have a lot of details on how many people are actually 
at the facility, but apparently other people are unable to access the facility. So the people who were on staff are probably, you know, working, you know, 30, 40, 50 hours nonstop and not able to leave, or the place could be abandoned for all we know. Um, this is over on Natural News. Shout, shout out to Mike Adams for covering it. Um, but for those of us who remember, um, this is what you know the potential future looks like. This is uh, from Climate Viewer News, 10 years of Fukushima radiation crossing the Pacific Ocean. And in here, I have a nice little video, not that stuff, but right here, um, of what that could end up looking like. So if we do have a meltdown at the Brunswick nuclear power plant, it could end up looking any ocean like this. Data, therefore, we do not account for the actual state of the local currents at the time of the release. However, the initial state turned out to be of minor importance for the trace spreading after two to three years. The following animation shows the spreading of our dye at the ocean surface. The color represents the concentration of the tracer relative to the initial concentration in the coastal area of Fukushima at the end of the injection period. The tracer invades the highly energetic Kuroshio regime within the first weeks after the release and starts spreading meridionally due to the eddies dominating the flow field in this area. After one year, maximum concentrations are diluted by two orders of magnitude and already cross the dateline, further heading east. The southern edge of the tracer cloud reaches the Hawaiian Islands after about two years, while the northern edge has begun to enter the Bering Sea. Meanwhile, concentrations near Japan have been dropping significantly due to replacement by less contaminated waters through the Kuroshio, separating the main cloud into a northern and a southern part. After four years, the maximum concentration has dropped by three orders of magnitude and the entire northern Pacific is filled with a certain amount of tracer. So as you can see, that's what happened to our Pacific Ocean and is still ongoing as a result of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear meltdown. Um, for those who aren't familiar with the Fukushima Daiichi meltdown, you can come to pollution and privacy, nuclear radiation and waste and fly yourself over there. And what you're going to see, give it just a second to load, is this is the Fukushima nuclear power plant, and it's a similar design. It's a boiling water reactor. These are the intake valves, you can see right here, the little white arrows, that were destroyed as a result of the tsunami wave that came in. Now, this isn't exactly the same situation, but it could be very similar wherein the intake valves have been flooded. Um, they're unable to properly cool the boiling water reactor, and that could lead to a meltdown. Now, of course, what I just showed was radio radioactive cesium-137 entering the Pacific Ocean. This one's on the Atlantic Ocean. So, God forbid this, this were to occur, it would be um, unfreaking believable. Um, Back in the day on my old blog, I covered this in detail. This is from 2011, Fukushima raining death near on a state near you. And I covered how the meltdown occurred. And, you know, this is what atmospherically it looked like. So this is iodine-131 spreading all over North America. And then right below that, this is cesium-137 in the air from the explosion. And then finally, this is it spreading worldwide. These are animations you're not going to find anywhere else. I had to do some severe digging to get to them. But this is what radioactivity just from that one nuclear power plant did to the world. And as you can see, it spread all across North America, all the way to Europe. And we're talking right here in this area is where Brunswick is. So these nuclear power plants are extremely dangerous. And this situation is always scary to me. Every time I, I cover a hurricane, I cover flooding and the nuclear reactors. Something you can only see on Climate Viewer 3D because it's the only map that has all of this information integrated together, which is why I built it. Um, but this is what scares the hell out of me is that, you know, we're currently in a situation where, you know, they're in a hot shutdown. The facility is obviously underwater and, um, 
let's see if I can find it real quick. This is another facility. This is a uh, Cooper United in the um, the Cooper nuclear power plant. And as you can see here, this is what a flooded nuclear power plant looks like. That is all water. You cannot see the driveways or anything. Um, this happened in the center of America. So I can, I'm trying to find photos that are current of the Brunswick um, facility so we can see how bad it is. Uh, but just know that right now they're in a hot shutdown. Um, it is right on the coast. It is a similar design to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear um, power plant. And, you know, it couldn't be more dire. So keep, um, you know, keep yourself updated. Come over to Climate Viewer 3D. Check out the links. Come down here and look at um, the flood levels. And know that all of the rain that occurred up here is working its way back to the, the coast now. And, you know, the Cape Fear River, all of these rivers are pretty highly flooded. So I don't know how much longer this, you know, disaster is going to keep going. But hopefully they've got some guys in big army trucks on the way out there to properly shut down this nuclear bomb before it goes off. Um, so that's what, that's my update for you guys. I just wanted to get that out there as quickly as possible. Spread the word. Um, if you're in the new, you know, in the, you know, in the nuclear blast zone, please get out of the way because, um, you know, this is, this is what happened, you know, with, with, uh, um, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear meltdown. And, you know, to this day, if you go and you look at the Fukushima precinct, um, prefect, this is the radioactivity on land, um, in 3d modeled you know how high the radiation is and people can never live there again it'll be 300 years a thousand years before this area is no longer irradiated so let's all pray for the workers up at brunswick hope to god that they get this thing shut down properly um and that you know there that there are some you know intelligent individuals trying to shut down this nuclear bomb because I live in South Carolina. I don't want to deal with this. You don't want to deal with this. And I'm pretty sure the entire Atlantic Ocean does not want to deal with this. So that's my update, guys. Brunswick Nuclear Power Plant. Hot shutdown. Um, flooding on the way. Flooding already there. Plant staff cannot get there. And uh, that's a bad thing. Um Last thing I'm going to mention, I just did a couple interviews you guys might want to check out. Um, just go to the top on the menu on climateviewer.com, click on interviews. Um, I was just on the Richie Allen show today. You can check out the MP3 by downloading it locally or go to their podcast. It's also on YouTube. And yesterday I was on with Mike Morales from Above Ground World News live uh we're talking about harp directed energy weapons weather modification and climate viewer 3d you can watch the video of that there and then my last one was back in august with clyde lewis but you know i'm going to be doing a lot more interviews check those out on climateviewer.com interviews and of course you know everything i do is free of charge if you guys could support me with a monthly donation on patreon or a one-time donation on paypal i would greatly appreciate that it's at the bottom of every single page on climateviewer.com. Just simply click one of the two links. And um, I, I always appreciate your support. Um, this information is free of charge. Please spread this video around because uh, we're, you know, this is a pretty dire situation. Uh, I don't, I don't want to deal with the Fukushima on my back door. I know you don't either. And we've got to protect our Atlantic Ocean um we don't want it ending up like the pacific so spread the word guys thank you for tuning in and uh you know this information is powerful don't use it for fear use it um you know to inform others to be prepared with great information comes great power and uh, i ask that you use that information to attack ideas like nuclear power sucks not people